Hello, welcome to season one of Roblox Sim Racing, starting in 2021 at the Daytona 500, which is obvious. And the game I'm playing has been made by the unregistered user, if you want to go play it. And for our poll positions of this race, we have Kevin Harvick, Alex Bowman, and Christopher Bell. Green, green flag is out, and lap one has begun at the Daytona 500. Alex Bowman leading the pack, William Byron sneaking to the inside, trying to pass Christopher Bell, but that doesn't work for him. Christopher, er, Christopher Bell takes the lead, Eric Almirola second, and wa William Bryan, Byron just flew to the wall, hitting back down, calling a caution before the race has really, on the first lap, we already have a caution. Let me get these unstuck. If it would work. Sorry. It's not the most reliable. <laughs> Anyways. After... After that, our current leaders are Eric Almirola, Christopher Bell, Austin Dillon, and Alex Bowman. This is a 20-lap race, by the way, and... Already on lap one on the back straightaway, we had a wreck. Anyways, the green flag is back out. The racers are heading out into the field with Eric Amarola leading. Christopher Bell is falling back as he was forced to the outside lane. Our Eric Amarola is still leading. William Byron and Austin Dillon in second and third. And... Alex Bowman in the outside lane on the back straightaway is losing some ground. Eric Almirola is distancing himself from William Byron on the inside lane. Coming around turn four into lap three. Eric Almirola still holds the lead in lap three, but this might change if Eric Almirola doesn't go to the inside come to turn one. Eric Almirola stays outside of William Byron, and I was wrong. That actually worked perfectly as that gave him some distance coming around to turn two at Daytona. Austin Dillon and William Byron still holding those second and third positions against um, Eric Almirola, but Eric Almirola just fell back to second as William Byron, actually Eric Almirola is now in third, now he's in second, coming on to lap four as William Byron took past him, our previous leader, Eric, Christopher Bell, look at how far back he is. And our other previous leader, Alex Bowman, is in the mid-pack. Now William Byron is distancing himself, but Eric Almirola is approaching once more. We have the 5, the 41, and the 22 of Joey Logano also catching up. We even have Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch in the mix. And it seems we'll be having a repeat of my first attempt at this race. William Byron is distancing himself, coming to lap six. Eric Almirola in second, Austin Dillon in third. Hey, I'm number three on in third. Anyways, Joey Logano fighting with Denny Hamlin for fourth. Joey Logano takes fourth, leaving Denny Hamlin in fifth. Denny Hamlin slides up to the wall. At a quick pace, he does not hit the wall, so it will not be a caution. But that was still crazy, and Austin Dillon has passed Eric Almirola into second. No! Coming to lap nine, William Byron is still leading a huge difference ahead of Austin Dillon and Eric Almirola. Now, we will be pitting for lap ten, halfway through the 20-lap race, meaning our lap... Our race is already halfway done, and this is already getting very intense. Pit, pit lane is open, and we've heard that everybody will be going in. This may give some people with faster pit speeds to regain distance. Austin Dillon fell back to fourth while I was opening up the pit. And even Joey Logano fell super far behind. And now the cars are spreading out a bit. This could get interesting. We even see the 38 of Anthony Alfredo up in the mix. 
Anyways, we're coming out. Nobody seems to have been faster than anyone to have passed them during the pits. But now this will distance everybody. And actually, that did throw Austin Dillon into fifth, the, that, those pits. Eric Almirola and William Byron off coming down the back straightaway of lap 10. William Byron spins out super far ahead, calling the second caution on lap 11 of the Daytona 500 today. Now this might have just ended William Byron's day as now that everyone's regrouping in the caution, he's no longer in his dominant lead. Denny Hamlin, Anthony Alfredo are in the second row and the 15 of um i actually don't know who it does not say anyways the 15 and 18 of kyle bush have all come into the first three rows our previous leaders alex bowman and christopher Bell have fallen back quite a bit. Seems that they won't be doing very well in this race. Green flag is out, and it is now lap 10. William Byron still holds the lead coming around to turn one, but not for long, as Eric Almirola passes him on the outside. Putting William Byron into second, and Austin Dillon coming around turn two is even approaching him, trying to pass him. Kyle Busch slides down to the inside, passing into fourth, but Anthony Alfredo is all, is, passes him on the outside, and Kyle Busch starts to fall back, and William Byron takes the lead once again. Eric Almirola and Austin Dillon fall back, coming around to the front straightaway, entering lap 13. William Byron seems like he'll be the dominant leader of this Daytona 500, and which will... And we will, and we see the 53 and 18 of Kyle Busch behind him. But actually, Joey Logano just passed the 53 into third. Joey Logano could take this coming around turn three at the Daytona 500, now turn four. Joey Logano is now in second. The 14 of Chris Busher is behind him coming around to lap 14. William well, Byron still is leading. But Joey Logano is catching up. The 14 is falling behind a lot. Now, we don't think he will be able to catch up, but Christopher Bell did actually gain a lot of ground from the back. Poor Alex Bowman is still pretty far behind. Coming around turn three, William Byron is still um, leading and. Joey Logano is falling back. We're coming around to, t to lap 15. And it seems William Byron, unless a caution can be called and regroup them again, William Byron is going to win. Michael McDowell, our previous, the previous Daytona 500 winner, is still far behind. Joey Logano has slipped in behind the 42. Ugh. Now, this coming around turn 3 of lap 15, the 77 and 53 are kind of struggling to decide who will get second, but the 77 decides that he will get second. Coming now to lap 16, we have four or five laps to go. And William Byron's still holding strong, but Christopher Bell is back. And unless a caution is called, I don't think that will matter. William Byron still holding a lead, but Christopher Bell in third. This is actually getting very heated. Wait, William Byron went to the outside. He just gave up that first position, is now is in fourth. The leader by a short while seems to be the 77, Christopher the C Christopher Bell in the 20 coming on to lap 18 has fallen into third. William Byron just sacrificed his lead by going to the outside. That might have just messed him up. And now the 53 goes to the outside and tries to pass the 77, but it doesn't work. But the 77 goes to the outside, allowing the 53 coming around turn four of lap 17 to pass him.
coming into lap 18 on the front, coming around the front straightaway into lap 18. Fifth, the 53 of Joey Gase is leading this race. Christopher Bell behind him. Poor William Byron's race was just ended by one dumb move. Coming around the back straightaway, the 53 of Joey Gase still leading. Christopher Bell in second, and Denny Hamlin now in third, coming around to turn through. Turns three and four of lap 18 with two laps to go coming into lap with one coming into lap coming into lap 19. Joey Gase has a huge lead on Denny Hamlin who just took second from Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell on the outside tries to pass him but doesn't work. But Denny Hamlin seemingly on Team two. Oh, Denny Hamlin on the back straightaway of the Daytona 500 just took the lead from Joey Gase coming into turn three of lap 19. And don't. And this is just getting intense and intense. But William Byron is back and he might take this lead coming around the front straightaway of lap 19. The white flag is out. We are on lap 20. William Byron and Denny Hamlin neck to neck. But Denny Hamlin with the magnificent block on the inside preventing William Byron and the 24 from passing him coming around turn two to the back straightaway. Denny Hamlin still blocking William Byron. But... He, he continues to try and keep Den William Byron back. William Byron is forced back as a near collision. Coming around to turn four. The polls. It seems Denny Hamlin will be winning this race. Coming around the front straight away of lap 20. Denny Hamlin first. Joey Gase third. And William Byron second. Denny Hamlin currently the winner of the Daytona 500. The, the, the winner of the Daytona 500 has been decided. Has been decided. Denny Hamlin. That is our first race of the season. And Meaning Denny Hamlin leading in points, William Byron in second, and Joey Gase in third. So far, we Denny Hamlin is the first winner of our Cup Series. We'll be back for the O'Reilly Auto or not that. We will be back for the Dixie Vodka 400 at Miami Homestead later. And until then, this was intense. William Byron's race was thrown. He could have won that, but I guess not. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you in Miami.